host, Chris here. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Hope you're having a great day. So I'm starting a new series called Hikes and Brews, where I recommend not only a hike, but somewhere close by that you can start your day with a cup of coffee and end it with a beer. Now, I definitely recommend Terry's Cafe just outside of Elkin on any trip that uh, you're going to Stone Mountain. It has a great breakfast and some good coffee. Stone Mountain is just west of Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and I do recommend that you take the Orange Blaze Trail. It's steep, but it takes you to views quicker. When I went, the berries were just uh, popping out, so also keep bears in mind. Now, when you take the Orange Blaze Trail, go to the right. It takes you up a steeper path, but you get to views quicker. Here you can see I had a water bladder and my 511 survival chest rig, and it is a gorgeous trail. If you take the right path, then you get to this first view pretty fast, and it is a gorgeous view. Uh, the wildflowers were also blooming when I went in July. Just absolutely wonderful, wonderful day. Um, again, this is the second view. It doesn't take you long to get here either. So you're rewarded on this trip you know, with views as you go along. One of the things I also like is that you can see clearly where you're headed to on this path. So you can see off to the right here, that's where I'm headed up that stone mountain. Um, it's really cool to look at you know, from all sorts of angles that expose rock. Uh, it was a really hot day, so you have to make sure that you take a lot of water if you're going, you know, in July. And make sure to look up as you go. These pictures are, you know, off to the side as I'm hiking up the mountain. Um, there are little paths and, you know, nice people that will take pictures for you. So this is an example, one of those off-side paths that has a great view at the end. You know, when you do get up to the summit of Stone Mountain, it is a huge stone outcropping. There are no fences, so be careful there. But you have a wonderful, almost 360 degree view of the surrounding landscape, uh, sort of those foothills of the Appalachians. You can see the actual, you know, stone marker or uh, metal marker. And who doesn't love that beautiful view with the American flag in the background there? Gotta love it. Uh, something funny I like to do is take selfies with those metal markers, uh, <laughs> proof that I was there. And again, can't say enough about how gorgeous that view is from Stone Mountain. Uh, because you took a steep path up, the path down is you know also steep, so keep that in mind. Again, the berries were just coming out. And again, make sure to enjoy those views as you come down the other side as well. This is off to the right. Um, and just a wonderful day. Now on the way down, uh, it is a lot of stairs. So stairs of all kinds. Uh, so make sure to, to stay safe and not all the stairs are, are made equal. And then when you get to the bottom, you're in this gorgeous rhododendron mountain laurel uh, sort of valley that is just gorgeous. Um, and you know you feel like you're you're somewhere else and um the historic hutchinson homestead is also on the way back this is the view from the bottom of the valley where the hutchinson homestead is i definitely recommend taking a look at uh that homestead it's a really cool look into the past uh and really well preserved and as you go back into that rhododendron valley at the end of it you'll come to this gorgeous waterfall um, that you can see both from the bottom and then head up even more steps to the top, uh, where you have this gorgeous view of the top of the waterfall. Here there is a fence, thank goodness. Um, when you hit this chimney, you know you're almost home, and I recommend stopping by Elkin proper to the Angry Troll Brewing. Thanks so much, Semper Pratus.